Once again, on the bottom, we will show you the normal control. This is a normal rib. It is decalcified. This is a histologic section. Notice how the cortical bone is relatively thick. Then you have the spicules of bone deeper into the softer, spongy, more medullary bone. Please notice that the bone marrow, uh, hematopoietic bone marrow, is about 50% of the cross-sectional area. The other 50% are these fat cells. And also notice that uh, like bone marrow should be, the uh, hematopoietic cells are very heterogeneous. They don't all look like each other. Here's a megakaryocyte. Uh, these have such a wide variety of uh, shapes and sizes. You know it is the normal degree of uh, myelopoiesis and erythropoiesis. On the other hand, look at this uh, section of bone on top. Yes, you could see some more thickened uh, cortex out here, perhaps cortical bone. And yes, you can see spicules. But that's pretty much where the similarity ends. In this case, there is practically no fat on the inside, and there is a very significant increase in tissue between these spicules. In addition, If you take a closer look at this area, you can see that uh, the cells in some areas may look a little bit heterogeneous, but in other areas they do not look like bone marrow cells at all. They look like rather undifferentiated cells, don't they? And they're very pleomorphic, and there's abnormal mitosis. And some of these may be inflammatory cells, lymphocytes. And in this area here, it almost looks like there's a primitive-looking gland, doesn't it? And let's take another random area. In some of the areas, it looks like there may be vacuoles inside of some of these cells, like here, like here, like here. Let's go to another random area. Here's an area that looks like there may be some sort of vacuole. And in addition, you'll see structures like this, which if you have even not a good imagination, you could say, well, it looks like these cells are trying to form little glands. Well. If you said that or observed that casually, you would be right because this is a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma metastatic to bone. And we talk about abortive glandular formation when we see a group of cells, oh, perhaps like here, perhaps like here, that look like they may be trying to form glands, or when we see cells that have little vacuoles inside of them, like there like there, like there, 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 in which there may be some buildup of secretion, but certainly uh, not behaving the way it should in real life. This is metastatic, poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma replacing bone, and there's no reason to beat this case any further.